and welcome. My name is Jackie Bent and I'm the author and the creator of something called The Emotional Baggage Diet. Now you may be asking, what on earth is The Emotional Baggage Diet? Well, it's a diet for your thoughts. It's a diet for the things in the past that have weighed you down and stopped you from doing the things that you want to do. It's a way of thinking. It's a series of tools and strategies to enable you to let go of the hold of the past emotional baggage and actually step into your future, into a future that you really want and you definitely deserve. Would you wear the same clothes that you wore when you were five or 10 years old? Would you make a meal today using the leftover ingredients from a meal from last year, the year before that, the year before that, or even the year before that? Now my reckoning is, is that your answer is probably going to be no. Now the question that's the most relevant there is actually the ingredients from last year's meal. If you wouldn't use the ingredients left over from last year's meal to make a meal today, why then would you use the ingredients from yesterday's memories, last year's memories, the memories from five or ten years ago, to create and form decisions for how you live your life today? Are you even aware that that's what you're doing? So many people aren't. I have many clients and when I ask these questions, they're really quite shocked and it gives them something logical to think about. It gives them a starting point for thinking about why they're making a decision because so often they make decisions on the spur of the moment, just like that, in a fraction of a second. And then later on they think, well, why did I do that? Oh, well, I've done it now, so I may as well continue. So many people are stuck in that rut of just accepting. Did you know that in an average dictionary that holds about 30,000 words, there are only 1,705 words that can be deemed to be positive, uplifting, happy, that type of word. Yet in that very same dictionary, there are actually 5,890 words that can be deemed to be negative, critical, belittling. You know, those heavy sort of words that don't make you feel very good. Well, it's no wonder then if there's more than three times as many negative words in the dictionary than there are positive. Well, it's no wonder then that we think negatively. We catch ourselves being very hard on ourselves in our thoughts. You know, always putting ourselves down, that type of thing. I remember saying in a blog that I once wrote that I wouldn't talk to a rat the way that I talk to myself in my own head, in my thoughts. I don't know if you can relate to that. Do you ever talk to yourself in a way that you would never dare to talk to anybody else? Do you use a tone of voice that puts yourself down? Did you also know that studies and research have been done that shown that in an average day we have 60,000 thoughts? That's one thought per second for every waking hour. Did you also know that of those 60,000 thoughts, 95% of them are the same thoughts that we had yesterday, the day before that, the day before that? We're a bit like stuck record players that are playing the same tune over and over and over again. What was even more shocking when I read those statistics was the fact that actually 80% of those thoughts are negative. If we're having that higher percentage of negative thoughts every day, that's every waking hour, and that's a really high percentage. That must be really exhausting after a while, and it doesn't necessarily do us any good. It's ingredients that we could really do without having. So the emotional baggage diet is about helping you to let go of some of that negativity, some of the negative thoughts that just happen without you even thinking about them happening. Slowly as awareness starts to happen, you can start patting yourself on the back because awareness is the first step to actually letting go of the negative thoughts. But Dr. Daniel Armen, who gave us those statistics, he called those thoughts automatic negative thoughts. Ants for short. Well, the second that I read that little bit of detail that they were called ants, I found myself scratching or wanting to scratch. Every time I caught myself thinking negatively, I would be thinking, there was an ant running around inside my head. And that little visualization was not one that I liked very much at all in any way, shape or form. So, okay, I was becoming aware of the ants that were there, but I didn't like the ants and I didn't like the little visualization about it. So then I heard about cats, and cats are capability-affirming thoughts. 
So in other words, a thought that is actually reaffirming the fact that we're doing something well, we're doing something that's good. So in other words, a positive thought. So that led me to creating a tiny visualization. The little visualization was catch yourself having a negative thought, which is an ant. Pat yourself on your shoulder and say, God, that's brilliant, because when you're recognizing that, you're breaking the chain of negative thoughts. So pat yourself on the back. Don't put yourself down. Then see the ant. Then see the fluffy kitten come in. And the fluffy kitten comes in and gets the ant and the ant's gone. By the end of that thought, you're smiling. You've broken the chain of thoughts. Great. That one 15 second visualization became something that my clients then and now have used and use on a regular basis and they tell me how powerful it is for them. The emotional baggage diet is a bit like an all you can eat buffet that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It's also a food for thought buffet. So just imagine that every time you go into that buffet, you're handed a plate. Now the plate is as big or as small as you want. You can then go round, have a look at all the different foods, all the different dishes that are on offer. And you can choose which ones you put on your plate which ones are going to work for you today that are going to leave you feeling nourished today that are going to help you to be fit vibrant and healthy the emotional baggage diet is open for you every single day of every single year you can pick and choose what's right for you